Here's our list of the top five most radioactive places on Earth. Big thanks to Spyro PM, who suggested the idea for today's video. Number five. Milo Su is a remote mining town located in southern Kyrgyzstan. The region is home to almost 2 million cubic meters of mineable uranium compounds. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union converted the area into a massive uranium mine to help sustain their nuclear program. They mined and processed 10,000 tons of uranium ore between 1948 and 1968 which accumulated large quantities of radioactive waste. Authorities buried the waste in the ground, but they underestimated the seismic volatility of the area. Southern Kyrgyzstan is a seismically active area, with earthquakes occurring on a monthly basis. Throughout the years, these earthquakes have compromised radioactive waste pits, exposing the nearby environment to dangerous conditions. This area is still home to 20,000 residents and is now thought to be one of the most polluted areas on Earth. Number four, the Somali coast. In the 1980s, several European companies and the Italian mafia took advantage of lax environmental regulations in Somalia. They secretly dumped hundreds of tons of hazardous nuclear waste across the Somali coast, causing an environmental disaster. Certain regions of the Somali coast are now incredibly radioactive, and local residents have experienced severe health problems, including birth defects and high cancer rates. Making matters worse, authorities are still unsure exactly where much of the waste was dumped. The United Nations Development Program describes the search as like looking for a needle in a haystack. Number 3. In 1986, a catastrophic nuclear accident occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the Ukraine. The nuclear reactor had a seriously flawed design, and site operators routinely failed to take adequate safety precautions. In the early morning of April 26, the reactor exploded and leaked the radioactive core into the atmosphere. 31 people died from the explosion and from the subsequent radioactive contamination, although the true death toll will never be known. Some experts believe the accident may result in 40,000 extra cancer deaths over the next decade. Chernobyl remains highly radioactive to this day, but progress is being made in the cleanup. Last year, a giant shield was installed above the damaged reactor to help contain the radioactive material, but it's unlikely people will ever be allowed to live permanently in the Chernobyl region. Number 2. Semipalatinsk is an uninhabitable nuclear wasteland located in Kazakhstan. This area was the primary testing venue for the Soviet Union's nuclear program. They tested 456 nuclear weapons here between 1949 and 1989. The facility was shut down after the Soviet Union collapsed, and the area was left neglected, with radioactive material left unburied and unguarded. Experts were worried that rogue states and terrorist organizations could potentially scavenge the area for nuclear material. In response, Kazakhstan, Russia and the United States have been working together for the past 15 years to help clean and secure the area. The pollution has improved slightly, but the area is still considered to be incredibly radioactive. They also discovered that 200,000 nearby residents had undergone health irregularities and abnormal mutations over the years. Number 1. In 2011, a magnitude 9.1 earthquake hit Japan, which triggered a massive tsunami which then struck the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Numerous reactors were flooded, sending the plant into a full meltdown. Authorities were unsuccessful in containing the damage, and a few hours later, the reactor exploded. As a result, large quantities of radioactive material were leaked into the atmosphere, the ocean, and the surrounding area. Japanese authorities believe 32 million people in Japan have been exposed to its radiation, and trace radioactive isotopes have been discovered as far away as the United States. Because the disaster occurred so recently, the radioactivity of the area is still astronomically high. Cleanup efforts are underway, but it's unlikely the Fukushima area will ever be habitable. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out our previous video on the Top 5 Luckiest Drivers.